Assalamu alaikum everyone and welcome to another episode of Great People TV with me Ben Ibrahim and tonight I'm not flying solo my partner is back Hana Ismail Assalamu alaikum and apa kabar Hana I'm good alhamdulillah how are you Ben I'm okay actually I I kind of miss you because I haven't hosted with you for quite some time so I know you've been really busy Rizki is good betul tak Alhamdulillah but no worries I'm back and I I also miss all our audience on Great People TV and kepada anda yang sedang menyaksikan kita ketika dan saat ini don't forget to follow like and also subscribe our YouTube channel our Instagram our Facebook please follow us and also upcoming our LinkedIn LinkedIn betul juga we've said that about a million times but we are active on LinkedIn it's just we haven't put a lot of content there we just put many of the episodes but We're building it yes. and it grows every day in terms of followers and in terms of comments and impressions. So please keep the Great People TV love going. And yes. today then, our Yeah, sorry. Yeah, no. sorry, sorry. But before before you introduce our our speak our apa ni our guest for today kan. Uh-huh. Ana tanyalah kan. When you were a child kan, what's your actually uh, mother tongue? Is it English or Malay or have you always been a bilingual? No, I mean no, I mean my parents speak English at home, but they their Malay is very very good. So yes, it's English. mainly english but malay was there lah because my parents malay is also very good so yeah why you ask ah, that okay yeah tak tahu i i nak tanya lah macam because ila because i know generally you speak english kan Betul kalau lah. macam malay tu do you struggle tak and do you find it hard macam to be in the industry uh, if let's say you're not bilingual no, that's a good question um no i mean Well, yeah, Malay is my, not my strongest language. I mean, it's my second language because I think in English. But mm-hmm. my Malay used to be quite bad, but I worked at it. When I came back to Malaysia after studies, I got a tutor. I, I watch Malay drama, um, you know, like right. hafal a lot of the words, sentences. So it's much, much better. Improve gila lah. So, but right. yeah, it's not as strong as yours. No way as strong as yours. And <laughs> it is true, but I mean, it is true what you say. Um, you know, the bilingual mm-hmm. presenters like yourself do get got, get more jobs. But okay. yeah, it's just you. You, I mean, to me, you focus on your strengths. Right. Sure. 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 Okay. This, mm. this is the, the thing. The reason why I ask you uh, this kind of stuff is because uh, today our guest is very special, Ben. So, but uh, she's the type who actually, memang, she's not a bilingual. You no know, English uh, or Malay is not her first language, but she struggled. And she struggled quite a bit, but then she overcomes it when she's in the industry, and she's a very kata orang memang seorang model yang sangat-sangat famous and I I I'm sure, I'm pretty sure everyone knows her. I rasa baiklah Ben perkenalkan siapa ke guest kita pada hari yes. ini. Yes, without further ado, our guest is the one and only model, actress, entrepreneur and everything spotlight Amber Chia. <laughs> Amber, how are you? Hi, apa khabar Ben? Hi, hello. Bye. Thanks for having me. Hi. So nice to be part of Great Paper. Yeah, well you are a great <laughs> person Amber. Well, Amber, let's just start our conversation straight away. Because Hana just gave a very nice context right there. Because the topic of this discussion is hardworking English, and I think a lot of people, especially in Malaysia, we are very hard on each other just because someone doesn't speak English. If people say, "Oh, you speak English, you must be intelligent." Take it from me, I'm not intelligent. I'm just, just really right. Ah, you're just being humble. Yeah, Come persevere. on. Persevere. No, but I'm serious. But there's 50 million people more smarter than me. But so Amber, tell us about when you first entered the industry. language skills wise malay english what was your first language you know tell us about that amateur that came into the industry after winning that modeling competition in 2004 i think yeah time flies sounds like history though okay however <laughs> when before i come in i'm at the best stage i heard about the language thing so for mm. me the unique part about being a malaysian is you can speak multi language even though mm. if you ask me most of my language is half water It means that uh, a bit of here, there, but mother tongue. Mm-hmm. My mother tongue is Mandarin, because I speak Mandarin okay. when I was young. And right. um, after Mandarin, we have different different dialect in the house. Like my mom is Hokkien, my dad is Teochew. So we speak mm-hmm. multi language. And of course, you know, being a Malaysian, even though I couldn't speak fluent Malay, but I faham. I pernah cakap lah, yang sesapa cakap, I I faham. I tahu what you're saying, and. Because when I step into the modeling industry, being honest to you, people who get mm. to know me 20 over years ago, I couldn't speak a single word in English. But uh, mm. I I managed to communicate now. For me, the mm-hmm. most important in a language is not about how fluent you can speak, how good, how well you can speak. 
it's mm. about the other person understand you or not. I think understanding it's more important. Agree. Language is for communications. It's not Agree. like, you know, you speak fluent. For me, for me, sorry. So of course, if right. I, I could speak fluent English like Ben, can speak fluent Malay like Hannah, that is perfect. Mm -hmm. But the most right. important part is still about communications. Even though okay. you speak fluent in certain languages, but you won't be able to communicate with other. So it's no point for you to speak fluent. You understand the, the meaning? Yeah. Yes, perfect. yes, I, I totally understand that. Okay, um, yeah. Amber, because if we look at your, ilakan, macam you punya career kan, you punya career path kan, you are one of the earliest model, Malaysian model that made it international. Because let's look at it kan, kalau international model, some of them, they don't know how to speak English pun. Because most of them, they're not English speakers. They are from Brazil lah, God knows where they are from kan, Mexico lah and whatnot kan. So what did you learn from all this model kan, uh, when it comes to charting their own career in modeling? Because... Yelah, uh, what do you learn from them? Because they're not English speakers uh, initially. Mm -mm. So uh, this back to what I said earlier. Uh, also, mm -mm. when I start my internet, when, when I start, when I win a title, like what Ben said in 2004, when I start traveling mm -mm. to Switzerland, New York and overseas for mm. work, I couldn't speak fluent English as well. I couldn't speak like what I can speak now. I can understand right. a bit here and there. But mm -hmm. uh, the reason why I can stay there and keep continue to improve, to learn, is because of uh, understanding. Even though I couldn't speak, but we understand what the client needs and what the client mm -hmm. wants. So, mm -hmm. yeah. So, the best part, actually, in human language. <laughs> okay, forgive me. Uh, maybe it's all of my point of view. I want to say this crap. Yes, all your point of view. It's, a, it's, lang it's body language. Sometimes, mm. you know, we, it's just like my dad watched international English fighting movie, but he couldn't speak a single word in English. He only speak Mandarin. When I asked mm. him, Baba, do you understand what the whole movie say? He said that you look at the expression, the good actors and the actor that delivered the whole movie script. You don't even need to understand what they say. When you watch the yeah. expressions of them, you understand what the whole movie about. It's true. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, no that, that's yeah. so true. That's that's very evident when I'm watching Jackie Chan, Hong Kong Kung Fu movies. But speaking about Hong Kong, Amber, because Mandarin, you're so fluent in Mandarin, you think in Mandarin. How come, just asking history, lah, did you ever think about, okay, I'm really good in Mandarin. I've got a look that very suitable for China, suitable for Hong Kong, suitable for Chinese, uh, for Taiwan, Chinese Taipei. How come you didn't try to go there and I know it's, it's hard, but how come you didn't try to go there and really focus your firepower on that market in terms, not just in modeling, but it could have been acting, it could have been hosting, it could have been anything, but in Mandarin. Okay, I, I used to uh, start my mod. I, I used to move to Taiwan for two years. I was there for uh, a bit of modeling and also acting, but uh, being honest to you, um it wasn't like what you thought that easier uh when you look at the international market you know how many people look at that it's people from all around the world the chinese from all around the world so i managed to uh do a bit here and there in taiwan and i even uh, do some drama in china but being honest to you it's more competitive in china compared with Malaysia because of, of the course. populations. Of course. Mm. Yeah. Um, well, at least I tried, but at the end, I'm still come back to where I came from, which is Malaysia. Um, after I tried uh, Taiwan, China, Hong Kong, uh, market on Indonesia and Singapore. So uh, after that, I remember the last country and city I visited is in New York. I was in New York for two years and I come back. And when I come back, I think that it's time, it's enough for me to travel. I should start something more stable. I should start my business. I should start my family. So that is how mm -hmm. I start settle down. So being honest to everybody here, it's a nice and beautiful place for retirement. <laughs> For and I will, I will, I will work. We are, we are, you know that compared with many, many city, we are not too stressed. We are not too slow mm. and we are not too fast. Yeah. And it's just perfect. And the people here are beautiful. 
and the everyone is uh we have we, we are unique and we are beautiful yeah just just on that amber uh, sorry now just one more question for my side no worries. um what kind of when you went to uh, it's a very competitive market hong kong chinese taipei china and they're very territorial if they see someone oh. out, like not from china not from hong kong not from these countries they'll say what are you doing here we have our own talents they're oh. quite sombong la in that way but what kind of you feedback see. what kind of feedback was given to you amber in terms of um you know like because modeling you know i mean not just model, not just your language skill but your look some people say i mean you know in modeling it can be quite cruel your your nose is too small your hair is too long you are too tall you're too short your arms are too short your, your arms are too long so many things it's it's so hard to get it right okay but you know, when i traveled to different country for yeah all over in general especially the china markets yeah okay um okay back to when 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 my first travel actually it was due to guest so i remember i joined that competition and the final is in switzerland so i i think the best part for me being one of the contestant compared with the 63 countries the unique part of being a malaysian is i can become a translator even though oh. <laughs> my language is a bit here and there and here and there right. So, but bila you kata Indonesia, kalau dia tak pernah cakap bahasa English kan, I can translate mm-hmm. a bit. <laughs> kalau right. you talk about people from China, I can translate a bit. And yeah, think, yeah, yeah, Malaysian, yeah. Malaysian, they are just so talented. And being honest <laughs> to you, although it's not perfect every languages I speak, but I, I I managed to understand and I managed to translate. And then when I work in China, a lot of uh, Okay, now, of course, you know, getting more and more people know about Malaysians, but you're talking about 10 years ago. When you speak Mandarin in China, they will ask you that, why you can speak Chinese? So you have to explain to them about we are the third generations of Chinese in Malaysia from the history of our great grandparents. So uh, um, other than that, when you go there, they treat everybody equally. But uh, mm. of course, you know, um, we, one of the unique part we have also, we, u- we look unique. Uh, we doesn't look like someone from China, even though I'm Chinese. We doesn't look like Taiwanese. We look like multi races multi-Asia. It's like a combination of Indonesia, Chinese, Malay, Indian. So we, we, are, we are unique. And everyone in Malaysia, we are unique. Mm. Right, right, right. Okay, okay. Nah, I'm Amber, okay. If, if there's one thing lah, I I notice kan when it comes kalau kita betul nak berjaya dalam bidang seperti ini kan, you have to have a really good PR team and PR skills. And generally kan sebab I dalam bidang uh, ni juga and sometimes I get to interview artists such as you and celebrities. Uh, if there's one thing I notice about Amber Chia, I mean generally a lot of reporters will say the same thing tau. Amber Chia ni is very, very down to earth and very, very humble. And I think itu adalah satu you punya quality, PR skill yang I rasa yang memang yang membuatkan you senang disenangi ramai. Uh, so personally kan, I nak tanya, apa sebenarnya yang buatkan foundation hidup you uh, to have a very humble and such modest attitude? Sebenarnya kalau you tanya I macam mana dekat industry for so long, I think people yang boleh dekat entertainment industry for long, uh, dia mesti ada professionalism. Sebab kalau you tak professional, hmm. mestilah you kena kick out from the industry. Sama dengan uh, responsibility juga sangat penting. I rasa bukan entertainment industry sahajalah uh, dekat all industry and one thing dekat entertainment industry um, sangat penting I berasa adalah you have to um, have passions sama dengan you mesti nak willing to learn sebab the entertainment industry dia selalu ada barang yang baru and you have to learn it's just like uh, from ben, for Ben and me and now you are young Kita dari no social media generation sampai sekarang. Kalau kita tak belajar apa itu Facebook, itu Instagram, itu TikTok, itu YouTube, itu live stream. Kita mesti sudah tak ada dekat industri ini. So uh, you have to keep learning, keep improving. And sama dengan sebab entertainment industry, kenapa I kata passion. You have to like it sebab 
kalau you tak suka kan, memang mm-hmm. you akan get very tired sebab kita mm-hmm. punya pet tak stable, kita punya masa tak stable, we don't have lunch mm-hmm. time dinner, you know, our schedule is messy and sometimes can be quite free, sometimes can be quite uh quite busy and then you mm. get all everyone will judge you for everything you do so if mm. you don't like it you will get stressed especially with social media world um i received all kind of comments it could be someone who is kind enough to say a good word mm. i would like to thank you people who give us good reviews and good comment thank you but some of them it could be just like oh my god she spoke broken english why you why ben and Hannah i interview amber so it could be something some kind of this kind of comment because not mm. everybody being understanding they understand mm. your background so you will, you will get yeah. all different different judgment from yes. everyone especially with social media but um, yeah. if you think about positive, you have to think positive. Sometimes I just make myself think positive. Ah, kalau orang tu nak cakap you masuknya, you masih ada market lah. Kalau dia tak nak cakap you masuknya tak ada market. So if you think about positive, this is the good thing you have to think about. And in the entertainment industry, once you step in, you have to accept all everyone will judge you everyone will give you a different comment they tell you different thing it could be a good one it could be a bad one but you have to learn how to cook for it yeah mm. could be it it's okay yeah no i mean that's some very good points there amber and yeah thanks for sharing i mean I, I only have only but maybe one and a half questions left i'll try to put into one because at the end of the day we're trying to project the story here that doesn't matter what language skills you have as long as you're rajin like amber you can make it that's why it's called hard working yes. english and perseverance and yeah, perseverance ex- exactly i mean we know you're rajin i mean that one we don't have to explain that i mean Mm-mm. i've seen you amber that you over the years you just don't sleep you work hard your mom your wife but you're an entrepreneur but you still keep going tell mm. us about the amateur of from 2004 not the first amateur but like the one that came you know 05 06 28 2008 2012 20. how did that amateur improve her language what was your secret was it you watch hollywood movies you took english classes um you know mm. you 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 try to speak more english at home with your family what what, what was it because everybody's different you know on how they improve their language okay i think the the first thing uh you have to cope with it is accept all kind of judgment including okay. when i accept the interview by ben i already ready like could be someone to judge me for that but it's okay i have to accept i my my english my, my okay however english even though i couldn't speak fluent english now my english still broken but uh, the most important thing for me is i managed to communicate you all understand what i say that's my key point of languages and um the second thing is um when you want to once you accept that people will give you some some of the very kind people will just teach you even if you say something wrong they will guide you of course someone will laugh mm. at you but that is how you learn. This is the learning process. There is always up and down. And that's one. Two is I start change my um, habit of listening, watching and reading to English. Example, I don't really listen mm-hmm. to English song, but um, you, when you start accept the English song, sometimes the song repeat thousand times you make me suicidal then you're not even like suicidal what's this that and then you go in google and you start understand what is the word of suicidal same thing for movie they have subtitle yeah. so when you watch if the word repeat for thousand times then you will remember what is that mean and then also mm. for reading as well when you see a work for many times you start understand what is that mean and then uh, that is true that's how you improve of course you know the last but not least if you could you know uh that it's always different teacher can teach you i i for me i hire a tutor to come here and teach me nice. to come to home teach me during the mco i have a english session with the other english 
teacher as well from different different country i just doing a zoom meeting they listen to my pronunciation they start correcting me so that is how i slowly improve i'm still learning being honest to you when i have free time when i got a right teacher i will still go on zoom with him to learn so yeah i i i would say that if you really want to learn a language a language you have to um, the basic three things you have to accept. You, because once you accept judgment, you will be willing to speak. Once you're willing to speak, then that is how you slowly will improve. Yeah. Yes. Nice, nice, nice. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Now I, only, I, I only have now I only have one more question, so fire away. Yeah. Okay. All right. Amber, I'm pretty sure can throughout your language learning experience can there must be some funny and, and memorable moments. <laughs> what are what are those, you know, funny stories that you like to share with us? The sleep salah cakap ke apa ke, you know, <laughs> in a show ke, in a live show ke? Uh, I don't account. know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, there are so many, but there's mm. one I would like to share. It's uh you know, English pronunciation, sometimes once mm -hmm. you go wrong, the whole word is going to the different meaning. So, yes. example, right. I want to say that, uh, Hannah, you are so sweet. It could be last mm -hmm. time I got a nice sweet. And I can be say like, sorry, Ben, you are so sweet. <laughs> so, it's, it, it's certain certain work like that. And sometimes you'll make it wrong. But this is how, oh, okay. how I learn. And sometimes all this become uh, funny memories. So, mm -hmm. yeah, for me, um, when you open your heart, you're willing to uh, accept all kinds of judgment. That is how you start learning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's true. That's true. Now, any more questions? Or, or... <laughs> no, I kind of enjoy yeah. her answers because I, I kind of like, I, I can like imagine the situations that you are in sometimes, you know, because I pun... Okay. As a matter of fact, Lee, I must kecik kecik pun, I must I can salah cakap juga, and right until now pun I can salah cakap juga. You know, sometimes I I confuse dessert and desert. You see, ah, faham. You know, dulu I macam mana I belajar. I have a notebook, so every time I will write the word and I will translate that into Mandarin. And I remember oh, okay. one true story. I bump into one of uh one of the director. Uh, he shot me for one of the commercial when I just kissed up my modeling career. So okay. he came to me and uh, I forgot already lah, uh, what I, how I met him for the first time. And he told me, when he come to me, he talked to me, he said, Onda, I can't believe you can speak so well now. He said, I used to remember the first time when I met you, you were so quiet sitting on the corner. And then when I come to talk to you, I ask you, how are you? You told me that my name is Amber Chia. I ask, I ask and then I ask you, what, how, what, how old are you? You tell me my name is Amber Chia. And I ask you five questions, you answer, answer me one word. <laughs> so what, what he impressed, that is one of the funny things. And I don't even remember that. But he told me that I, he can't believe that I can communicate with him. I said, it's good thing well, right at least i can answer you more question now no, my <laughs> name is amateur <laughs> that bad. was how bad i was <laughs> have kidding. you had lunch my name is amateur <laughs> <laughs> yeah i know that it's how bad my my english was if people scold right. me maybe i don't even they are scolding me so it's a good thing but however <laughs> what i want to say that is there was how bad I was, and I managed to improve to here I am now. Although it's not great on perfect, but you know, I'm believe that maybe another 10 years later, I can speak better than now. Life is about keep learning, keep improving. And for me, if you wanted to learn a language, don't care about what people say, just, yeah. you know, speak. People who is kind enough, who, who yeah. love you, will guide you and teach you. And uh, give you some example. I remember when I start speak English, few of my friends always tell me the Amber, it's not like that, it's like that. Then I start writing mm -hmm. down in the note. Okay, I, I learned about the new word right. again. I'm really thankful for those who guide me uh, to yeah. who I am today. And of course, those who laugh, get me it doesn't matter they're still my good teacher as well because they're laughing at me that make me remember right. don't say that again that 
grow. Wow. You know, so that's how I grew. So, so wow. if you if this, you're willing to very open good. your heart, yeah. yes. accept yeah. all judgment, that's how you yeah. improve. Yeah. This is actually a very good attitude to have when it comes to yeah. learning, regardless learning language ke, or any other subjects for that matter. You have to have this openness. You have to lower down your ego and you have to have like an empty, you have to... Um, see yourself as an empty glass, you know, willing to accept True. anything that's poured into it. And I really like this. You know, you kind of remind me of Sofia Vergara and I love Sofia Vergara. And you're like the Sofia Vergara version of Malaysia. Really. And I love you for that. Thank you, Anna. I love you too. <laughs> and I remember Ben was very kind as well. I I still remember Ben. I'm not sure you remember that or not. I went to one of your calls. Is it's one of the class learn about public oh, speaking? Class, yeah, no, yeah, yeah. You know what? He is a good teacher, though. So I oh, went wow. for that class. I still remember. I talk. I wrote down some important not when when you need wow. to do public speaking. So that's why I can manage to do it now. Thank you, Ben. You are oh, the teacher. Wow. <laughs> ben, you ought to open many of those classes again. No, um, no, I did. I did some public speaking courses earlier wow. in the days at Chai Makan, and I, I, I enjoy it. And uh, Amber was uh, when she started her academy. Just to share with you, when Amber started the academy, I mean, Amber was a startup entrepreneur. She only had a certain budget, and she said, "Ben, can you please help me?" And Amber, because you're such a nice person, hardworking person, I've always admired that about you. Genuine, no, no tipu tipu BS. Yeah, we helped each other out, and we helped each other chai maka, and then, yeah, I appreciate you on that. And you know, I mean, I'm sorry that I haven't spoken to you in the last couple of years, but COVID, susala, my dear. But um, uh, this this will this will not be the last conversation. But I have a last question on behalf of Hannah and myself. Now, Amber, we all know that to be in this industry, whether it's a host, actor, singer, whatever, you need to be thick skin, super thick skin. Mm. You tak boleh kesa. You just can't, don't care what people say. But that's the hardest thing to do. Because like when people say, don't look at social media, you're going to look at social media. Someone's going to kuto you. You get hurt. Yeah, yeah, you get hurt. And like, I mean, when I got into the international spotlight, people kuto me a lot, you know. I said, what are you kuto me for, you know? But I look and look and look. What? The, but people have their right, their opinion. So the question that I have for you is for our audience: How do you build a thick skin mm. if you don't have it? Yeah. Okay. That's fine. <laughs> wow. I wouldn't say I wouldn't call that is thick skin. It's just an engages. You have to open your heart. I always say that it's not about thick skin. It's about open your heart to accept different judgment, especially. Mm in the entertainment industry, um, you have to have a lot of positive energy because some people are just so negative. They give you a lot of negative judgment and you and very get critical. hurt. Yeah, yeah. And sometimes you look at the comment, you feel cry and, and sometimes out of nothing, you just want to quit the industry because of someone who you don't know. Hmm. And um, for me, um, the, I I would teach my students when before they start into the entertainment industry, I wanted them to get ready. I say that if you want to be in the entertainment industry, that it's always different people will give you different judgment, and sometimes it could be something thing out of your mind and something ridiculous. But this is entertainment industry. You have to have a lot of positive energy. So for me, how I get all the positive energy is. I try to think positive sometimes. And uh, even though every day when I'm tired, I look at the mirror, I tell myself that it's okay, you know. Um, okay, give you a straightforward example. Like if I look at myself, I tell myself like, oh my God, I'm 41 now, I still have to work. <laughs> so that is negative energy. People are already retired. Mm -hmm. But if I give myself positive energy, if I think that, hey, come on, how many models can be a model when they are 40 or 41 and I can be oh, in the industry for 24 years it should be something I proud of myself I don't care about what people think but may, not many people can do it and mm. this is a positive energy I give to myself every day and you know things is always have uh, two way one it's good one the positive one the other one is mm. negative one so um, mm. it's just like the judgment from the public 
um, if you think about negative, of course, you know, they give you different judgment. They don't like you, hurts you. But if you think about positive, if they, if they still talk about you, it means that you still have a market value. If you do mm. something, you are a celebrity, but no one wants to talk about you and no one cares about you, then you should be worried because it means that you have no more news value. True. You understand the yeah. whole thing? Yeah, no, no, perfect and sense. Perfect sense. Perfect yeah. Sense. So I think um, in the entertainment industry, uh, I wouldn't say thick skin. I would say that you have to have a lot of positive energy um, for, mm. for everything you do, even though the languages, mm. you know, when I say people laughing at me, I'm willing to learn because I remember the mistake I made. That is positive. If you think about, oh, they laugh at me. I don't want to talk anymore. I'm given out. I don't think I can. You know, that is negative. So how you get all this? Okay. I I think when you tell the energy you give to yourself is very important. And I always like to read about the successful people's story. You know, the positive yeah, yeah, yeah. coach from different, different people. Zenria Ui, you know, she give a lot of positive story energy yeah. to, to the yes. public yeah, and a lot of international yeah. speakers as well so that is that's helped me so that is how i yeah. make myself more positive and i like to mix with uh, i like to mix with people, positive people uh, because mm. i think that is amazing you good, know we support good, each good, other good. Yep. we make each mm -hmm. other become yeah. a better version of their self and myself yeah so i, I yeah. think that is also very important if your friends always tell you negative thing. I think you might think, okay, just this is my personal point of view lah, for, for the audience who watching this show. Right. If you have a friend, selalu belitaukan you tak cantik, belitaukan you tak bagus, apa yang you buat semua tak bagus. Yeah. Trust me, you have to think about you either leave your friends, go and max, match um, something, uh, met a new friend who can give you better energy. That will help you to become the better version of yourself. Instead of you stay here and someone just tell you that you cannot do this, you cannot do that, you cannot do that. Because if this fellow always give you negative energy, and everything you do, that 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 can be successful because he he always tell you that you cannot. So you need someone who tell you that you can. Then you become more positive. So kalau you ada kawan yang surrounding you always give you negative energy, please walk away from them. Good and point. go and meet someone who who can tell you that you can not someone who tell you that you cannot you understand yeah that is what i want to tell yes. the audience i think it's sangat penting sebab dulu i ada satu kawan juga selalu i buat apa apa dia pun kata tak boleh tak boleh jadi i memang buat apa pun tak buat dapat jadi tau selepas tu mm. i leave this friends i i go with the other friends who tell me that you should try this try but you can and yeah. selepas tu i started see my achievement and that's how mm -hmm. I make myself who I am today. If I look back today, I'm thankful that I make the choice. I leave the friends yeah. who give right. me that negative energy. This is my experience. Mm -hmm. Nice. Yeah, surround yourself with people with good energy, with positive uh, outlook in life. Yeah, I totally agree with that. And open your heart. Open your heart. So that's, that, yeah. that's actually, Amber, you've given us a lot of great positivity today. And yep. I didn't get a chance to tell you this, Amber. Great People TV is about celebrating those positive stories. We don't like to talk about gossip, about personal life and all that sort of mumbo jumbo. We talk about positive stories and you have a lot of, you shared a lot of positive stories today. So thank you so much, Amber, for coming on Great thank People you, TV Ben. And sharing this wonderful energy. I think our audience will yeah. get a lot out of this, not just in terms of how to improve their language, how to improve their mind, but how to improve their focus and feedback, I mean, and receiving feedback so they can become better. And Amber Cha, you've yeah. shared, you've told us very good stories today. So thank you so much. Thank you, Ben. Thank you, Hannah. Thank you, Great People TV for having me. And thank you, people who are watching this show. Watch more this type of show. Maybe you can get more positive energy as well. <laughs> Thanks. Thank you, Amber. Thank you we'll so, catch so up much. soon, yeah? Okay. See you. Bye, Bye. Amber. Bye. Wow. Wow. I liked it. That is quite inspiring. I, I really like her personality. You know, she's always, she has always been a very humble modest and very down to earth that's why she's easily this senang je nak you know uh, gel with anyone and everyone yeah she's actually she's very easy to work with well yeah, yeah. really really easy to work with but 
speaking of, she she did say one very another interesting thing which is to keep watching great people tv so please yeah. keep watching great people tv click the subscribe button on youtube click the like and follow buttons on facebook on instagram and also on our linkedin as well so it's been a very very great discussion with amateur hannah you have some great questions well done anything you want to leave our audience with before we go no, but please stay tuned for next week because we have a line of great guests at this month. So be sure to keep yourself updated on our special guests from week to week. Okay? That's right. Well done. No, well said. All right, everybody. Good night. <laughs> have, on behalf of Hare Ismail, myself, Ben Ibrahim, and everybody here at Great People TV, have a great night. And we'll catch you next week on another episode of Great People TV. Take care. Assalamualaikum.